going on y'all welcome welcome to real talk rt forum and we're back again with me sterling carroll and my man talk talk amaru right in the house in the building in the house greetings yes yes and we're going to get into today we're going to get into uh, uh deaf terms all right deaf terms is where we sometimes in videos we explain something or we'll, we'll talk about something with a a terminology that might not be uh known to the layman including me i had to look it up too yeah, right uh today we're going to do the word uh, identity crisis and i've already shared the screen we're already here i'm, I'm up on wikipedia and uh, to me, identity crisis, the, the word itself is kind of self-explanatory. And I think, uh, like, what do you think, what, what would you consider an identity crisis when you when you uh, first hear it, Todd? So the person has, well, I, I, the person has, uh, has an identity crisis hmm. is, has a, is, is, in, is insecure about who they are. Yeah. Maybe the energy they're projecting to the world. It All can right, be great. racial, it can be religious. Um, religion, um, yeah. and I think everybody has an identity crisis to some to some extent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, and and the thing about it is, is when I looked it up, that's what they say in psychology terms. Um, an identity crisis doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. It just means you're going through some kind of change where you're trying to either redefine your identity or find more about yourself. You know. Um, like puberty, puberty, every, like everyone goes through an identity crisis during puberty. Yes, yes. And that's actually the first thing on the front here. It says, uh, I want to look at it here. It says, in psychology, identity, identity crisis is the failure to achieve ego identity during adolescence. Wow. Like you just said, uh, uh, during puberty. Right. Right. Because you change, right? Who you, who you project to the world. The person that's being projected to the world changes. Mm hmm Right? I mean, mm -hmm. if you're a woman, you get you develop breasts. You know what I mean? People start, men start paying attention to you, yeah. and you start paying attention. You start becoming attracted to the opposite sex. You see tomboys. They used to play, and they're now all of a sudden, hey, she has a dress on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or guys, I don't really want to play. And you know, he wants to do something else, and you, you're yeah. you're trying to change your 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 game up. Yeah, you're trying to get accepted into society, trying to define whatever it is. Yeah, and whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. And would you say? Well, I would also say. And I already know you're probably going to say yes to this, that it doesn't stop at adolescence. It keeps going until the day you die. Yeah, that, that, that's what I said. I think everyone has has this to some extent. It's just very easy to see during adolescence because this that's the stage everyone goes through. So it's exacerbated. Everybody can see that. OK. You know? <clears throat> All right. So um, I'm getting this from um, the, the 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 term identity crisis was coined by the German psychologist Eric Erickson. This guy is actually quite interesting. He has an eight stage uh, uh, identity, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, identity development uh, phase that I want to do in another video. But today we're going to use what he uh, used as identity crisis. And um, there's two psychologists, him and then there's a, a more recent guy named Jane. Uh, what is his name? Marcia. I'm, I'm scrolling down here. Oh, yeah. um, James Marcia expounds on his uh, version of identity crisis. He has four statuses. He calls them statuses, um, not stages, because um, the stage seems like you you do one and then you graduate to the next, and then once you finish the next, you graduate to the next. But these four stages, you you don't go statuses. from the other. They're always they're, you're you're kind of in all of them at the same time, and so you revolve around them like a hamster wheel. You know. Okay. So. Um, let's jump into it. The first one is identity foreclosure. Uh, are you going to read it? Yeah, I'll read it from, just, I'm reading the yellow, right? Yeah. So you can see an identity developed by an individual without much, without much choice. The foreclosure status is when a com, a, is when a commitment is made without exploring alternatives. Often these commitments are based on parental ideas and beliefs that are accepted without question. Yes then the example of this would be. Okay. An example of this would be a son of a farmer who learns that his father is selling the farm mm -hmm. and whose identity as an heir to a farm and the lifestyle and identity of a farmer has been shaken by that news. What's he going to be now? Right. He didn't rely on anything else but what his parents told him he was going to be. 
right? And so this is a foreclosure. And I'm going to jump to this um, chart that this, uh, this I, I think she's a psychologist as well. She's a teacher in some college, and this is one of her college courses. She drew this chart here. And the, the bottom left is foreclosure. The bottom left square. She puts them in four squares. And let's just look at this chart real quick. The left side is commitment. The right side is crisis. Okay, crisis in psychology means changing or exploration or something that you're doing to, is problem solving. You're in a problem solving phase, right? You're confronting whatever you're going through. And so she puts them in a high, low division. So if you're looking on the left, the bottom left box, it says that the commitment is high and your exploration or your crisis is low. So just like the guy who is the farmer, the boy who's the farmer, he is committed to being a farmer completely 100%. But his exploration into any other field, maybe I want to be a doctor, maybe I want to be a singer, maybe I want to be something else. He's never even explored anything. He has low crisis, low exploration. So it's very safe because it's already been picked. But if something happens, like, like when his father decides to sell the farm, now you have nothing else to fall back on. So it's quite yeah. a dangerous and precarious position to be into. So she puts a little frowny face in there because mainly you don't want to be in that position. It's dangerous. It's risky. Would you say that a, a, another example of this would be like in like religion? If you if you were, you know, if you were involved in a religion and you found out that your pastor was sleeping with women or was doing something that was unholy. Right. And right. all of a sudden all you're like people in religion. Yeah. Right. OK. Yep. Right. Jumped right into it. Great. Then the next one we're going into is, um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be diffusion. Let me just see here. The next one is uh, identity diffusion. I'm scrolling up here. Okay. So just the word that, that <clears throat> spread out thin is diffused. Diffuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the diffuser, some of you have that with your, uh, your essential oils, right? Aromatherapy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A diffuser, yeah, an aroma, yeah, a diffuser, yeah. So go ahead and read that one there. Okay, I'm looking at the yellow, uh, the apathetic state that represents the relative lack of both exploration and commitment. What is what does apathetic mean? Like not feeling anything, not feeling good, not feeling bad, just kind of dead in the water, stale, stale, something like that. Okay, like apathy, right. like oh blah. Ugh. Yeah, which is very common in adolescence, you know, especially they don't know what they want to do, where they are, and they, they just give up on everything. They don't know where, what they, and they don't feel like doing anything about it either. Sit around playing video games all day or something. The, the novelty of everyday life has worn off by the time you're 13. Right, right, right. Stuff that was cool back in the day, turning the, ooh, the light switch. Now, now, <laughs> now you know, you're, you're, you're uh, I'm a veteran now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get Okay. To the example, and you can, looking at the bottom of the paragraph, an example of an identity crisis emerging from this status is an adolescent who becomes reclusive after his identity as a star athlete is destroyed by a serious injury. Becomes right. reclusive. That's a good word for, for Japan. Yeah, yeah. With, yeah, Hikikomori sitting around in the house all day, never wanted to get out just giving up on life or something. It feels like you're in that state. Don't want to see anyone. Just a, a, a state of depression, you know, isolation and depression. Right, right. Yeah. We go back to the chart. Um, that's the top left side of the, the picture of the box, diffusion. And that is where commitment is low. You're not committed to anything really. And your crisis and exploration is low also. You're not exploring anything. You're just, just kind of stuck in a quagmire what is it you know you're 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 not moving anywhere right so she puts that also in a frowny face because that's a position that you don't really want to be in you know it, you know it's, it's not going anywhere okay so on the left side we can see diffusion and foreclosure both have uh the sad or frowns on their faces right um, it's kind of symbolizing negative would you say that both of those or or which one of those two uh sides uh, do you think, generally speaking, people are uh, tend to show uh, suicidal tendencies? Oh, suicidal tendencies is is got to be uh, foreclosure, because 
if something, if anything wrong goes down, you're, you're just, it just shakes you so much, so traumatic. Rediffusion, I think, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of suicide, but even suicidal people, that's still kind of committing to dying. I think the fusion is more like the, the people who just kind of live their everyday life, their whole life, just never really achieving anything. It's, it's actually, to me, the most dangerous. Okay. The most dangerous on the long, on the long term? Yeah, in the long term. You might, you might do something suicidal or you might just be here just sit around doing nothing the whole time, you know? Um, I remember this, uh, this rap song where the guy goes to jail and he's talking about some people learn how to play chess, some people learn how to uh, start studying, some people just get in fights and get deeper into it and stay in the jail. And then some people just sleep all day. And he's like, and that is unacceptable. And I was like, so even getting in fights and, and burying yourself deeper is better than sleeping all day and not doing shit, you know? Wow. So um, to me, diffusion is just like nothing is happening where foreclosure, something radical could happen, which also means that suicide has a higher probability. You okay, know, all South right. He made a lot of money. If he was rich before and then he lost his job, he will probably have a higher chance of killing himself than a person who never really made no money anyway. And then he loses his job and he never, he, he ain't never done nothing. So he might do it, he might not. You know, you, it's the maybe pile. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't. Um, well, the last example you gave, because in my mind, the diffusion one, you know, I really, really relate to it because uh, the example is an athlete, mm. right? Mm. So I'm, I'm thinking about it because I know, I know some athletes that this actually happened to. Mm. You know, what I'm saying I played for uh, a Division One school, but that we, we, we weren't that good. So not, only like two players went to the NFL mm. um, that I knew of. Or actually more, but some of them didn't. You know, they, they got uh, injured or they didn't they didn't become famous. Mm -hmm. um, so I was looking at some of those folks, and I, I guess you're right. I guess you're right um, because then they just kind of fade back into mediocrity, but they never. But you know, it's 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 like new to them, and, and it really really hurts their feelings. Mm -hmm. Basically, their their feelings really really get hurt. And I think actually, thinking about it, maybe though that might be the class where. Um, people are more more instead of suicide they might go to homicide mm. that's where your your serial your serial killers might come out of that group true yeah you know what i'm saying more tendency i'm and when i'm just i'm not this is just general terms i'm just trying to use terminology or everyday things that people can relate to right you know what i'm saying right okay but either way the to me when i see the frowny face i i feel more of a um we all have some of these aspects we just have more of them than others and then just know that when you're in a, a, a more negative one, you, you you need to think about your exit strategy or where you're in the positive ones, you, you're trying to stay in it as long as possible. Right. So, um, but you, we're all in all of them. So uh, we're gonna go on to the, now the, the more positive side, the right-hand side of the graph is moratorium, which is a funny word because moratorium sounds like death, doesn't it? Or yeah, it sounds like, like death, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I thought it was. Right. Um, but death, uh, especially looking at tarot cards, I like tarot cards, y'all. Um, death means change. Right, transition. Transition, yeah. So maybe that's why the word itself could mean the changing. Go ahead, let's. let's okay, so we're going. Okay, sorry, yeah, went out. Okay, so we're on, talking about identity moratorium, and we can see the doctor, Marcia or Marcia, theorizes. Okay, okay, your pictures, okay. Theorizes last theorizes last the longest in individuals is the most volatile and can best and can be best described as the inactive exploration of alternatives so the active not the inactive the active the active exploration of alternatives i'm sorry mm -hmm. okay let's go to the example mm -hmm. an example of this would be a college student who lacks conviction in their future after changing majors multiple times but still cannot seem to find their passion. Right, so this is this is not a bad thing. You're actively exploring your alternatives. You're, you're just, you don't know exactly what you wanna do, but um, you're trying out a lot of things, you're trying new things. So of course that has a positive light to it. So looking at the picture again, the commitment is low. You're not committed really to anything, you're dabbling, but your exploration is high. So you're, you're trying out a whole lot of things, right? And okay. that is a good thing. You don't want to just be a jack of all trades all day, but it is good to try a lot of things and see what you can get good at. 
right but like but anything like anything can be taken too far right you know um i think this this is this reminds me of the person in their uh early to, to late 20s that mm -hmm. are they say i'm trying to find myself yes yes you know, exactly you know, yeah that that's yeah that's what it reminds me that of college time is definitely the moratorium phase right right mm -hmm. And then the last one we're getting into, this is the this is the one that everybody's goal is, is the identity achievement, right? That's achievement. by the word. Yes. Down there at the bottom. Okay, identity achievement is the resolution to many identity crises. Identity achievement occurs when the adolescent has explored and committed to important aspects of their identity. Right, so they've already explored the options and now they're 100 committed to it which is which is the fun part you know when you're really in the zone is what i guess you could call it you know when you yeah. see a person in the zone you can see him feeling i'm this guy came over here to japan and he was kind of he was still learning about japan but now he's popular he'd be talking to girls even on the train he seems to have a different girl every uh every week or so i see him and I'm like, yeah, you're in the zone right now. You know what I'm saying? You ain't shy. You ain't you ain't worried about getting turned down. Like you know, you get you're you're the, you're the man right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's he's achieved his identity in that aspect, right? Which is a yeah, and, I, and I would say again, going from the last example, this is the person who has found themselves, yes, him or herself. And you can say like a person who's in their life's work. When people when people say that, mm -hmm. or because I've always been like um. You know, I've, I've really, really um, always admired people who are, are successes. enough to say, yeah, I knew what I wanted to do when I was 11. Mm. You know, the, from the Miles Davises, you know what I'm saying? Some, you know, whatever it could be. And they'll say, yeah, I, I, and, they, and people, you can't do it, but they were just headstrong about doing it mm. because they knew that this is what they were gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Whether it's a lawyer, a doctor, or an athlete, mm. um, you, you find those stories. You know, um, mm -hmm. I always thought, you know, erroneously that their lives were easier because of that. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I'm saying, right, right. That's, right. that's where everybody wants to be sooner or yeah. sooner than later, but sooner or later. Mm. You know? <clears throat> yeah, it's rare when you see it, so you don't really know how to process it. And when you see a person who's that uh, committed and just already knows, it seems like, yeah, right. So right. these are the four crises, um, and you kind of go uh, around all of them throughout your life. Um, you know, they say like uh, what I, I would consider it in. Uh, for an older cat, uh, the moratorium phase would be like maybe when you hit your th late 30s to 40s where you really consider yourself middle aged and what you're gonna do now, you know, that's, you're back to like when you're in college times, like what kind of man am I or what kind of woman am I, you know? Um, you know, you, you might you might slip back to foreclosure, like maybe you have a child and you you really wanna instill your beliefs into them, you know? So you, you it's not like everything is a bad thing. And yeah, like, the different events in your lives. You think about things like be on the on the on the positive side. If you get promoted into a new position where you have more responsibility, mm -hmm. you know you're getting more money. So there's positive things, but you know your identity is going to change, right? right? Or same thing. Like when you think of crisis, usually it's something negative, right? Divorces, or if you get fired. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying all of a sudden you're not vice president of, of whatever whatever anymore. Mm -hmm. You don't get treated a certain way. Right. You know how you can handle that you and you have to know like it's just it's good to know you know in, a, in an analytical way you could say oh, okay i'm in the diffusion stage i'm in this foreclosure stage and then because by knowing the problem or, or the, the uh the challenge then that you know that's the that is what uh gets you onto the road of recovery yeah resolution right. yeah exactly um the last thing i wanted to point out was um that uh, the, the lady well not just this lady and somewhere in the wikipedia it wasn't on the page i just saw but the the goal is to be in uh what they call mama m-a-m-a -M -A, which is moratorium then achievement and then once you achieved it back to moratorium and then try to once again achieve again and staying in that state is the healthy choice whenever you fall into foreclosure or diffusion your goal is to try to get back into M A M A M A Mama. Okay. All right, Mama. Easy to remember. Yes. Yes. That's about it. So hopefully this helps y'all. You know, uh, understand what identity crisis is when a person tells you hey, you have an identity crisis, or you know, um, a lot of people use psychological terms, and I don't think they know what it means. So 
Yeah. All right. Most deaf terms. Yep. Yeah. Real talk. All right. Real talk. We out. All right, y'all. Check you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.